you throw a bag in your back, you go out and you hit a ball, and it's a relaxed sport. And what you've got here is you've got space and you've got freedom and accessibility. And the word I'm looking for is escapism. You know, just that getting away, mind off it. People want to say, oh, is it a game or is it a sport? It's a game and it requires a lot of different things from people to, to get good at it. The Scots thing, they invented golf. You know, that bullshit. We invented it, the Dutch. That is the greatest game that's ever been invented. But people can play whatever version they want. I just remember sunny days and cans of coke and chips and being out of the house for 10 hours and loving it and trying to get better and better and better. It can be different things to different people, you know. For me and James, I think it's the same. You know, we both want to be as good a player as we can be, but it's also something that we do to get away from it all. And we have to remember that sometimes. I think playing these places teach you that. aren't designed, they're just formed by the lay of the land. Being in Scotland just gives you that freedom just to find a suitable place you want to stay, whether it be on the beach or up further in the mountains. You can just pitch up and tent for the night and then on you go. They allow dogs in Scotland just because they're completely chilled. People do walk their dogs here, but it's part of the local culture yeah. to let people do. Oh, good. Come here. I think it just does take your mind off yeah. the, being too obsessed yeah. with your own game. Yeah. They don't mind about dress code, um, you know, they mind about how fast you play and whether you repair your pitch marks, but they don't really sweat the unimportant stuff. Our games are completely different here. Our games are at home on the courses we normally play are a bit of a war of attrition. Whereas here, there's a lot more toing and throwing. I think it's easy to sometimes get wrapped up in like the condition of the greens and you know, oh god, the greens were crap today, but it doesn't matter, you're just out with your mate having a knock. It's not the elite sport that it once was for only the upper classes, and that's when it's became a joyous sport. The critical mass of people can now access a golf course and I think that's really refreshing. And understanding it's a game for everybody and ultimately you're playing yourself. Training, training, training is the only way. You know how you want to play and actually it sounds very simple because it's, it is that you need to switch your brain off and just get into it and focus only on it. Go out in the course or the driving range and train yourself. I mean, golf is leisure. Golf's a pastime, and if you're more worried about two shots off your score because you use some ridiculously dopey new club. But on Lynx land, I mean, who needs 14 clubs? I mean, it's the most overrated thing. Golf is just 14 clubs. <laughs> Today you play golf and you feel every ball. Every time I play this course, it reminds me that it's best and it gets better every time I play. It evolves with you golf. And you realise how inefficient you are in your own play. You know, because how important persistence is. And you learn a lot more by it. But then you have to go on and think, well, tomorrow or next week it will be better. And next week it is better. Come on, ball. you just got to have many more shots. If you're just a one-dimensional golfer just hitting a high golf ball every shot, it's not going to work on links. Because it goes up and down and up and down.
the challenge every time you play golf. You really don't know what's going to happen that day. Oh, James. And you have to get over this challenge. Oh, shit. And you can stand in the first tee and feel great. And then it can go pear-shaped. And other days you feel your rhythm's not there, but you start scoring well. It should be the game, and the game only. And it is mind over matter, let's be honest. That's it. Ability covers half, but the other half is definitely mind. And playing against yourself throughout your whole life. With success or without success. All the trying doesn't make it better. I mean, you might, no, you no, this. no, you, try less. You see this try with Caddy. Try less, exactly. Time, right? Stop trying. Yeah. And stop worrying and then forget about it. Look at the sea and say, hey, shit, I'm playing Royal Dornock. I'm in the north of Scotland and I'm not worried about breaking 75 again. Yeah, you got to keep reminding them where they are. I think the thing that's so special about playing golf in Scotland and especially playing the type of courses that we played on this trip is that you can play golf courses with no frills which are still architecturally brilliant and a lot of that has to do with that the land is so good you know it's Lynx land and it's perfect for golf. There's not many Lynx courses where you get to see the ocean on all 18 holes. It's unique in its design I guess really. I like the idea that these courses are sort of walked into existence over the years. But it's authentic and it's different. I used to hate it when people called it a, a quirky or a hidden gem. There's a passion and a knowledge at these clubs that means that when they make changes over long periods of time, they're from the perspective of people that love the course and play the course. It's beautiful, of course, a lot of variation. And each coal just offers a different challenge and a great challenge. Great views, mountain backdrops, it's got the whole works. Well, they'll say... You are in the, in the home of golf. I'll stay here for the rest of my life and I play golf here.